All right, guys, today in New York City, we are doing a meetup. If you guys wanna meet us and you're in the New York City area, Philly, New Jersey, come to Washington Square Park in New York City at 5 p.m. Today, I don't know what time it is when you're watching this, but come right now. And also tonight, there's gonna be an event. Tickets will be in the description. We're gonna be at a little club event. So if you guys are 21 and over, feel free to come to the club with us. We'd love to talk to y'all, hang out with y'all. Links in the description. We'll see y'all, go, go, go. Why did you vote for us? I don't know, they're just not the type of kids I would be seen with. Oh, shit! That's what I'm talking about. High school couples. Welcome to 1001. You're all high school couples. One couple will leave with $1,000 towards... Prom. prom. Are you all going to prom together? Yes. 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 That's the plan, at least. A lot of things change, right? Yeah. <laughs> Who here is lying? Who here is not even a couple? Who's secret cousins? <laughs> We're gonna White go guy pulling up, right. right. The final round, the people who've been eliminated, they are gonna be the final decider. All right, we're gonna start the round now. It's very nerve wracking. It feels like there's a lot of competitive energy in the air. Billie yeah. Eilish. This is Belle. We've Not been quite together about two, This is Belle. We've been together about two months. Two and a half. They say that we're pretty much like, She's the girl version of me and I'm the boy version of her. Yeah, we're kind of like copy and paste. Yeah. I think our biggest threat is probably the girl in the black shirt and the guy in the Carhartt. Yeah, we're, we're twin flames. Yeah. We're like this. I really love like Oh yeah, These are, they're high schoolers for sure. We're like this. I'm Ryland, this is Natalie. We've been together for a year and two months. A lot of my friends say that they look up to our relationship and like, aspire to find the soulmate like they say we have. It's been a year. Everyone sees us and they're like, oh, Tanner and Juliana, they're like, they're who we want to be. Who's saying that? Did she say her yeah. peers are looking at them like we want to be? Everyone's saying that. To be fair, they are the head couple. Come on, look at this. Look at them. Look at the glasses. What are you going to do with the money? Dress, shoes, tux, and then we'll probably, like, whatever we have left over, we'll donate to the kids' closet so they can have some dresses as well. That's wonderful. Yeah. Are you using that as a strategy at all? No, I already had thought about this because our town ha like flooded a lot. Yeah, so that way everyone can afford to have a nice prom. I'm Xander, this is Simone. We've been together almost seven months. Are you guys popular? <laughs> I'm not. Someone here kind of has a nice group. Really. He's a grade above me, so we don't really have the same like everyday people. I don't know, I don't like consider myself a popular person. Oh, that's what all the popular people say. Yeah. <laughs> We're always together, like... Can you see, brother? That, and that's how I feel right now, because my hair's long, but like... Is this Noah from back in the day? <laughs> I didn't get haircuts back then. I think this would be Noah if he... I grew up in LA. Gained a little bit of more weight <laughs> and said to the barber. Just kidding, I'm not making fun of kids. Because even back in the swoosh days... The point is to go over the eyes. It sort of casually goes over the eyes, but not fully covers them like this. That's the blindfold. He two love each other. Yes. Yeah. I love you, Bandit. Thank you so much, Selena. <laughs> I want you to give your best promposal right now. Whoever you all think had the worst promposal is going to be eliminated, okay? I've wanted to take you to prom since last year, <laughs> and I really want to make it happen before I have to go off to university. Prom is coming up. I feel like I've known you so long. Will you go to prom with me? Will you go to prom with me? Will you go to prom with me? Please, would you go to prom? Will you do me the honor? of letting me take you to senior prom. Yeah. Yes, I will. <laughs> yeah, I would love to. Of course I would go to prom with you. I love you. Come here. <laughs> These kids should just pick amongst themselves who has to go. I like seeing them sort of bicker and fight amongst themselves as opposed to the corny director talking about some- Yeah, how come the director's making the rules of this time? It's usually up to the people. It might get juice. All right, I'm gonna hand out index cards. Who wants to come grab them? Oh, Tanner's on okay. move. Oh. <laughs> so we're just writing down a number one, two, three, four, four five. five. Yeah. Okay. So we have one for five. One for one. Oh. Damn. Two for one. Oh. Oh. Three for one. Oh. Oh. One. I was fucking with them. Yeah. They were cool. They seem cool, but they're kind of quiet. They don't seem like the people that would want to go out and enjoy prom. What the oh. fuck does that mean? Seemed like they'd want to stay in and maybe just eat and watch TV and just kind of not want to move or do nothing. What did he mean by that? Like, what is it, joy prom? Why can't they enjoy it? Why wouldn't they be able to enjoy it? They look like the most comfortable around each other, to be honest. I'm actually hurt right now because they were actually my favorite. She had good energy. He seemed chill. He was giving me like Moana vibes. Uh -huh. like, Rock. You're welcome. You're welcome. Like, that's what I was getting. They don't seem like the people that would want to go out and enjoy prom. Like, they might 
show up but not really like spend everything like how it seems like the other groups would. What sort of assumption was that? That's a very strange <laughs> assumption. I'm gonna give him grace because he's a high schooler and his prefrontal cortex isn't really developed. But damn, that was a little brutal. How do you guys feel? Why did you vote for us? I don't know, they're just not the type of kids I would be seen with. Yo! Oh my God! Okay, now we're hurting feelings. That's not the game right now. Even if that's true, even if he looks at them and says, I would never hang out with those people. It's not like they, they came for him and they're doing like a fight, fun bickering. And just started throwing shots. I'm all for being savage, but that felt unreasonable. Yeah, what does that have to do, you not wanting to ever hang out with them or be the type of people, what does that have to do with like, had they had, the money? Had they, yeah. been, had they been snotty and you're like, you're clapping back. That was unprovoked. Like, we don't have to be friends, dude, but like, let's just play the game on who could win. I wouldn't necessarily hang out with a homeless person. That doesn't mean that I wouldn't give them money though or let, allow them to win over me for the money yeah. game. Carrying on with the game, they're gonna have that mindset of like, okay, well, I'm only gonna keep in the people I would hang out with. Yeah, exactly. If I'm the other what people, kind of I'm, like, I'm like, let's get this guy out next. Maybe I was just too awkward and like didn't put the right energy out there and yeah. I don't really care. I don't like hanging out with people anyway. So. <laughs> For this next round, we got a photographer here. We're gonna have you guys do your best prom pose and whoever has the best prom photo is gonna remain safe from being eliminated. The eliminated couple is gonna decide who is safe. Should have been mean to them. This one. No! Oh my god. <laughs> no, what was that? It's making me want to grow my hair out a little. Noah's almost there. I low key right now, I was uh, this whole day, I'm like, bro, I need a haircut. But I love the music, and then it, they cut to like the worst freeze frame of them. Oh, it's precious. I like the last one that was swimming. Yeah. All right, who was it? The last two. The last two, yes. Last two. Oh, period. Oh, thank you. They said we had the best pictures, even though I just called them people I wouldn't be seen with, which was really kind. No, I was absolutely shocked because like, <laughs> yeah. who would do that? Why would he even call that out like that? That shows you how unbothered they are. That's actually kind of crazy. Like, so. I just dissed you and you still voted for me. That's what he said. And I don't think he gave a fuck. People on the couch are just playing the game like, well, we're just seeing who's is the best, not who would we hang out with. Now, me personally, I'd be like, I need y'all two out. Cause what the f is that? Yeah, so that you're, gonna... so you're safe from elimination, which means I'm gonna have you decide who gets eliminated, okay? We're gonna see your best prom dance. Who's going first? We'll go like this. All right. <laughs> oh, no. Hey. hey. Oh. oh. Okay. Oh, no. What about we all do the gritty? <laughs> That's awesome. Is that a thing? I thought that was a thing like a year ago. It's a fun dance to do, Ryan. Come on. I'm sure if you were in high school, you'd probably know it. Or what do we, what do we? I was dabbing in 2015. This is their dance. This is their dance. Okay. We had Jerk, Free Jack, Dougie, Dougie, Daddy, Cat Daddy, Dougie, Whip, Nene, uh, Hit the Quan, like. And they got the floss. They got flossing. Okay, there's a video of that kid that he got to perform the backpack <laughs> kid. I seen him pull up to the could have been records auditions and he forgot his power cable for his piano so he couldn't even do it. He came to perform an audition but he forgot the power cable. So they made him do the dance, the floss dance. <laughs> And false. The thing he's just, trying to get away from. Just do the thing that we already Just know. do the false dance and get out of here. <laughs> On Instagram a year ago was doing like gym content heavy, like trying to get big. And then a year later, he's like even skinnier than before. So that's just a whole nother thing. How you come in the game is how you go out. You blew up like too quick. You're gonna go out too fucking quick. It's, it's like, hard to escape that bubble at that point too when you become so famous off of one thing. Yeah, yeah, you have to be good at something too. I mean, Bad Baby was able to kind of transition and do her thing because she actually was, she's actually decent at making music. So. Mm -hmm. But there was also like a scooter brawn in the background that said, that like, came to her when you mm -hmm. saw her blowing up that helped her. Like, if you just do this, I got you. That's true. He was never funny. He was never interesting. His dancing was never that good. It was the right time, right moment, right little thing. Oh. Yeah, what happened to the selfie kid? Remember him? He went super viral. Oh my. King God, I remember, remember that? No, people probably don't even remember this. You know what's crazy? If somebody even take a, it took a picture with a celebrity now, I don't think anybody would even care on the internet anymore. If a young, cool kid just took a picture with Billie Eilish, I don't think we're going crazy. I think we're gonna have to go with five. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, <dang. laughs> we also no. hang out with you. They just seem like they might not make it to prom. 
I love you guys. I'm sorry. What does that mean? Okay, so do you really think it was because of our gritty or it's not because of your gritty? It's just because you're an easy target to eliminate. Holy shit. I... You're savage, dude. Yo, I would be crushed. Especially in high school, I'm not forgetting that. Like, what is that supposed to mean? What does that mean? You look like you wouldn't make it. Technically, you could have eliminated anyone. It's not like they're a physical threat. So it's like you're there as a target on their back and it's a physical game and it's survivor. No, everyone else played the game and did the round the same way. You could have eliminated anyone. They're just being bullies right now. Yeah, they kicked off two couples already. I'm sad, but I kind of felt like it was gonna happen. They got their friends going on already, so like... It's hard. We're just, we were the odd ones out. Friend groups are forming. They want to impress each other. I like your shirt. Thank you, I like monster chat. <laughs> I really like your jacket too. This is fake love. I'm gonna compliment you so you don't vote me out. This is the second to last round. We're gonna have you give your best prom, king, queen, acceptance speech. Oh, okay. Lord. <laughs> All right, congratulations. You won prom, king, and queen. Uh I'd like to thank all of you. I'd just like to thank everyone for giving us this opportunity. Couldn't have done this without a small personal loan. God, okay, I hate you. Anyways, <laughs> I would like to thank every single person in this room, first of all. I didn't really like how she talked about him when like, it was her turn to give her speech. It kind of feels like they're a little too friendly with each other. We just had our one year anniversary like a week or two ago and let's keep it going and have a good summer. Have a good senior year next year. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be prom queen with my boyfriend for the last time before he goes off to college. I would also like to thank Patty because he sucks and I think we're gonna break up after yeah. this mm -hmm. films. I feel that there's something different. There's definitely something going on. I think this couple might be lying. They aren't as couple-like as everyone else. Who are you thinking of eliminating? I think the people who dated the longest should stay because like, Ah! Prom is like a special connection between That's and like yeah. that you always know who you went to prom with, right? Yeah, and the people who have been together longer can already have that like stronger foundation and they're more sure of the fact that yes, we're going to be going to this event together. On the count of three, I want everyone to just point at the couple they think should be eliminated. So In <laughs> one, two, three. Oh. Wait, where'd you? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. I thought they were. <laughs> What's going on? Why are you choosing yourself? Because we, we don't deserve this money. <laughs> you guys are like, humble. You guys, oh my God. I hope to see you guys at prom. Huh? <laughs> They're not. Wait. Kidding. What? Oh yeah, okay. no. <laughs> Why? Wait a minute. We're not a real couple. Wait. Yeah. Wait, what? what? Yeah. He is a homosexual. <laughs> I, I could admit so much. We're really good friends. But we are definitely not dating because yeah. neither one of us is interested in the opposite sex. I'm shocked. Why would y'all come to the So on why would you let them play and eliminate the two actual couples off Rick? Weird. We're both homosexuals. So, you know, uh, see you at church. Yeah. Okay. Imagine so being the guy that got eliminated first. Why'd they do it like that? Weird. The couch is going to decide who leaves with the thousand dollars. Basically, who you think is the strongest couple and who will last after high school. Because it's very common that high school relationships do not last. I mean, we've been friends for years, uh, even before dating. Uh, we were really close with each other's families. Uh, we've planned out college together. We've planned out since she's a year younger than me. Uh, we've planned out how we're gonna work through like a uh, long distance. It's not gonna work. I'm going in. Doesn't work. Uh, I'm going out of state, but it's like on the border. <laughs> There's no guarantee of what's gonna happen in a relationship, but. Oh, that's fucked. That, uh, well, we aren't like most high school couples. We've had both of our parents talk to us about marriage, and we've even had teachers ask, like, are you and Tanner going to college together? And after graduation, I need a promise ring. I'm, I'm just excited to like spend my life with you and just enjoy being together whenever we can. That breakup at 19 be hurting the hardest. So like, just let them, everybody gotta get their little breakup in. I knew a few girls that instantly like got married, got boom, right after high school, I had a kid, boom. None of them have lasted, not one. Anecdotal story, of course. Very, yeah, it's very, and like my aunt, that's my mom's sister, she did marry and have children with her high school sweetheart. So it can happen. It can happen. That makes more sense because they were born in like the 60s. So yes. like, that's, this, this Jay. She didn't have Instagram back then. Yeah. Your first love does feel like it's supposed to last forever. Oh, for sure. Trust me. Yeah, I respect that they are. They see the light right now. You gotta let them go through it though. Yeah, I would want them to succeed, but look at the numbers. I don't think prom is really a deciding factor, but I think they have the most concrete plans. And it's like, I'm going to the school, I'm going to the school versus like, oh, like 
we're gonna go here maybe. Can I add something? Oh. So obviously we can hear you guys. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so in regards to what you just said about plans and concrete ideas, he's also a year older than us. Ooh. And it's coming down to in college to sit. Yeah, we're, we're, bo we're both juniors. <laughs> we're still in regards to figuring out what we want to do and where we want to go. We're locked in on being together through that process. To be fair though, because they are younger, that leaves more space for in high school relationship and more time. Like I want to college though. Like, like, what if they like what college if they by yourself? Yeah. yeah. Like it's easy to say, oh, we're gonna be long distance, but it's kind of harder to go through it. <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm going with Simone and Xander, but like you guys are your own people. Yeah. Make your decision. Who are you thinking? Juliana and then me. Oh, I think it's down to you. I'm swaying. I can't decide between them. Remember the kids' closet. <laughs> Tina, bro, that's so <laughs> my word. That's also one reason why I don't want to vote for you guys. Sorry, but I feel like using like donations is kind of like fucked up. It's like we're gonna donate plus like get a limo, like whatever. Why does the people who's not didn't even do the game properly? Why do they even have a vote? Why do they have a say right now? Why did they add that into the show? Like it was supposed to be some sort of twist. Like, no, that's unfair. You just destroyed the whole integrity of the whole thing. Those other two couples are in high school and want to go to prom together as a couple. And now they both got eliminated by you. Who isn't a couple? And now you, yeah, you get to, yeah, you guys get to leave. And yeah, I definitely, that's why I'm gonna vote. Yeah, it ruins the integrity of their shows because then anything we watch will be like, okay, well, who's, what's the lie here? I do have a question for Tanner. Yeah. You nervous over there? Oh. You stressing? No, I'm. You sure? Just in love with my girl. <laughs> oh my gosh. What... Xander, how are you feeling over there? Honestly, I, I, I'm just glad to be here. And since He's right. Since... <laughs> <laughs> He's right. He's right. He's right. I'll be happy either way. Um, just... um, do you know who you want? Um, Juliana and Tanner. <laughs> to be eliminated. <laughs> yeah. Not to be a hater, but I mean, like, they kind of... No, I can't say that. <laughs> I feel like it kind of gave off just, like, Mormon married at 23, divorced at 30 vibes. So who are you? I was rooting for the hair. Fake couple was so rude for no reason. The drama in this video is more intense than high school prom. As a homosexual, the homosexuals flopped their trolling. No shade. Y'all were just plain rude and insecure. Yeah. It wasn't funny. Shout out to the prom goers. I had a prom date. Oh, care to expand upon that? No, I just didn't want to take anyone. I was like a new person in my high school anyways, too. Ah, ah yeah, it's a little harder. Yeah. It's difficult getting a prom date anyway if you're a guy, but being new to a school also. So do you still went to prom? I still went to prom, it was so fun with my friends. Oh, you went to prom? I went to prom. Oh, okay, okay, you still went. And I still got to talk to people, people there that didn't have dates too and whatnot. You guys kind of had it in like the same corner? Yeah, it was like the lame section. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Imagine the non-day goers onto the stage, onto the dance floor. It was weird when they announced our prom king and queen. I'm like, when did we vote? I didn't remember like voting. I just remember like being the most popular kids up there. I'm like, wait, did we? Wait, who picked this? I was there for an extra year, man. <laughs> I swear, shit. I weird. swear, it would've been different, bro. I think our prom king and queen was randomly selected. I just remember, I just saw them on stage. I was like, oh shit, I guess those are the winners. 10 prom, prom it's court. I'm bringing that up because I was on the court and I was popular. Okay. I just wanted to bring that up. I helped on my friend ask someone to prom because I was a dancer in high school. Mm. So we did like a flash mob thing at lunch. Ooh. And I was the one in the front, so it was like a decoy. So they're like, oh, who's Rob gonna ask? <laughs> oh, oh fuck. That, and then my friend souped in. Oh, that's And cool. then he ended up asking. I almost asked someone. I don't remember much of my prom except for the fact that one kid got belligerently drunk and taken away in an ambulance. He passed out in the bathroom. He was the one in our party group and our whole function got shut down. And there was supposed to be a fun after party at the big rich kid's mansion and it all got shut down. I was on a party bus with like 12 people and then had a party at my house after. It was nice. Oh, that's lit. That's pretty good. You get, actually got to have a party. And I think everybody spent, oh, slept, slept, spent the night. So it was like a cool, everybody was like, cuddling with their prom date, so it was like everybody had a little good time. Oh shit, no boat and no boat and It was the first no boat and then. I did do a big proposal, got rejected, and I had to find a date real quick. Mm. But I, I think it was, that happened, I was like, nah, nah, I'm still going somehow. And luckily enough, it worked. You gotta watch the vlog for that story. Yeah. Here. On my prom night, I slept next to a girl and she put her leg like kind of on the side of my, oh, shit. before I went to sleep. You, you were hyped up for the rest I of the I was year. so fucking Damn. Hyped, <laughs> that, that tells you like, you just had a flashback right now. That's ingrained in your memory now. That's I'll, never, memory I'll never forget that moment. In the core memories before you get older, like those have a different feeling that oh, like yeah. new things ever will because that was the first time that happened. You had probably felt Facts. another lady's leg right there
there several years after. It's still cool, but it's like, it don't hit the same as that first one. Uh, my first Amy Muffin at McDonald's still slap. I remember going to a Catholic middle school at mass practice and I'd stood next to a girl that I had a crush on. Mm. And there's a part of the mass where you have to hold hands. Oh and then, yeah. You gotta lift it up. Bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was the best day of the year. I tried to finesse that every week where I stand in line behind her. Oh shit, we're next to that. Oh shit. The you, part, you know, we gotta give me your hand. Another moment like that, real quick, was when I went on my eighth grade trip and they have the ride called the Matterhorn. It's like a log ride. So you get to sit like person and then the person goes here and the person goes there. <laughs> I know where this is going. They change the seating, they don't do that now, but it was a log ride. So <laughs> I had eighth grade, like, crush literally in front of me and I just had to act like I was just on a ride. <laughs> Woohoo! The whole time, bro. I never really had any sort of actual action in in high school, so I don't. Mm. Those little moments to me yeah. meant a lot, but I never yeah. had an, I never had any actual action. But even the crushes, though, those were still things back then. They're magical. You still had feelings when you could call a girl. I remember just being outside in my like, oh, just doing twirls in my in grass, and we were just talking on a mm. phone, and like we gotta see each other in classroom. Like, a phone call meant something to me. Yeah, crushes hit different back then. It was as simple as even getting a like from them on Instagram yeah. or something, and you'd finish envision it how they would see it in their perspective yes that's a fact or god forbid they comment or something oh or, yeah oh my god seeing one girl's comment on my thing nowadays i get hundreds of comments and <laughs> don't feel anything where was your crush now oh i don't know she has it. probably multiple kids oh never no, shit her. it was one of those like middle school crushes and you grow you get older and you realize oh i had a crush <laughs> y'all are excited for your high school reunion mine's supposed to be this year mine's but next year you my president even like Schedule it. I might just like schedule. Ryan it. is the president. I'm the class president. I'm supposed to schedule our class reunion, and I don't. You're supposed to get it going now. I think. Yeah, high key. Send out the invites. Who's gonna tell me? Who has my email? Do I have to pay for it? Because <laughs> nobody's gonna want to give no donation. Yeah, who's funding that? And they're probably thinking, Oh yeah, Rhino is gonna put it together. He's famous YouTuber. He got money. It's gonna be epic. And they're like, Ryan, the checks on you, right? Thirty classmates. Can you donate ten bucks? I feel like nobody's even gonna want to come. Everyone's gonna be fat now. It's true. People face. wouldn't want to go. No. Why would you? Unless and you're successful. Successful, you're confident, and a lot of people aren't. There probably won't be any girls in mine because they probably can't find a babysitter, so it's gonna be a little hard for uh, people moved away. Married, uh, what about like you're married now, but what about your old high school boyfriend, girlfriend that you were? Do you bring your wife? Yeah. You oh, have yeah. to. Okay, okay, I didn't know. I was like, babe, it's just for the high schoolers. You're not part of this. Isn't that awkward? You see your ex or something? No, I mean, that's good. I mean, that would happen. That's gonna have to happen. They get in a fight at the reunion. They're adults now. It's been 10 years. And I feel like I'd have to be dating a, a beautiful woman and go there and be like, yeah, this is my wife. Because people are, as much as people won't want to admit it, it is sort of a peacocking show where it's like, how you doing now? You're though? trying to look your best. People want to look their best and my job's going great. And this is what I've been up to. I feel like I have to go because I was the first graduating class of that high school. It was like a brand new high school. You guys are going to come with us. I'm filming. I don't care. I'm live streaming that. Shit. What's up with you? Why did you break my heart? I see you got a man's now. He broke. I'm up. What else you got to say? Good to see you. It's crazy. It's been 10 years. Why did you cheat on me? <laughs> Where you told Rob that I was lame and you didn't see anything in me. Any reason for that? And and do you feel the same way now? Because look at me. Right, that was 11 years ago. Yeah, it was 11 years ago, but what have you been doing in those 11 years? Like, you're down now. You're fat. You're single. I see you didn't work out. Where's the, the, your, the father of your child that you had? You posted him all on Instagram. Where is he now? <laughs> How do you say hi to the girl that you essentially inseminated and she's got a man's and a kid? What do you say? Hey guys! Remember all the fun we used to have? Been a while. Busted in your wife. Sorry, was it something I said? <laughs> the kid's right there looking up. Do you say hello to the little kid? Hey! hey. I used to be with your mommy. I could have been your dad. I could have been your dad. But I'm not, so be that squirt. You're like. <laughs> <laughs> You just out, little squirt. Somebody want to know what's top ten lines. <laughs> I could have been your dad, but I'm not. Peace out, squirt. I know the people at mine that I wouldn't want to talk to are gonna to want to talk to me. Well, yeah, that's the point. You got to reunite with everyone. If Damn. you did a 40 year one, you could imagine, okay, people's feelings since that point of, it's not the same, everything's different. 10 years, the wound is still kind of fresh. <laughs> Especially with COVID, it, like that took, it's been only like five years. Yeah, five, oh. it's only been four. <laughs> and, and 10 years isn't really, you know, people aren't really winning in 10 years. <laughs> they're mature adults now. Everyone's mature adults. Except the car ride home, you know they're gonna be saying something. Oh yeah, they're pissed in the car ride home. 
Like, yeah, it was interesting seeing Noah there. Yeah, but the way you looked at Noah when you saw him. No, I feel like I'm gonna get some looks. It's gonna be it's gonna fuck up all the relationships. No, yeah, night, which I'm gonna like. I'm gonna like that. I have no choice but to pay for the whole thing. I'm just thinking about that. <laughs> but I feel like that's sort of my way. Strawberry to... Park, go fund me. Can y'all pay for my high school Sponsored reunion? Sponsored by Strawberry Park. <laughs> How much is a reunion? Ten grand. I'm not the one. Shit. I'm not the one sending it up. Yeah. It's supposed to be put together when I get there. I need a time and drop the pin and I'll be there. I'm gonna pop out to the ones I don't even part of just to go. I'm going. Uh -huh. to, I'm going to rub. Yo, rub you don't remember Good me? Good to see you. I'm tripping. No, I was best friends with Rob. We don't Rob, right? Remember? It was you, me, and Rob. We used to do that shit. Y'all forgot about me. Damn. I go up to a girl. Try to kiss her. Remember? Remember? You said next time I see you, we get to kiss. Remember we made that pact in eighth grade where if both of us are single in 10 years? It's 10 years. Emily, you're still as beautiful as you were right then. I don't know what this reaction turned yeah, into. Yeah, I don't know what we're talking about now.